Lockheed Martin is ramping up production of its F-35 fighter, the same jet that President Trump called too expensive. To keep pace, the defense company is automating some of its manufacturing. Morgan Brennan took our cameras inside the mile-long Fort Worth facility where the jets are built. It's the most expensive weapons program in history, and it's at a major inflection point. And not just because of recent criticism from President Trump. The number of airplanes in the field is growing exponentially, over 200 now, and there'll be many, many more going as we increase their production of ramp here. At the same time, we're wrapping up development. So tying a bow around the development of the airplane, and that allows us to continue to expand, not only in the U.S., but around the world. The price of Lockheed Martin's F-35 Joint Strike fighter jet is falling, and falling faster than before. The Air Force's A model, which comprises 85% of the program, just slipped below $95 million in the most recent Pentagon contract. A 7% drop from the previous deal and a more than 60% decline since the first contract a decade ago. An F-35 like this one takes about four years to make from order to delivery. Lockheed currently has about 140 planes in production right now around the world. But over the next several years, that will ramp up to about 180 at any given time. Lockheed Martin is turning out four F-35s per month. But over the next five years, that will quadruple to 14. To do that, Lockheed and its suppliers are using automation. We want an $80 million jet. So we have to take labor out of, the, out of the, the aircraft build process, and we have to make that process more efficient without any reduction in quality and by eliminating waste. So we do that from very technological advances like this robot, which can do the work faster. Robots apply the paint that helps make the plane stealth, trimming two days off the process. And machines auto drill parts five times faster than if done by hand. 3D models are used throughout this assembly line as well, a digital thread that takes hundreds of pages of manuals and translates it into digital instructions that actually project onto parts of the plane. But is it all enough for the prime contractor to grow profits, which has always been the plan? The onus will be on Lockheed and the supply chain uh, to bring their costs down uh, at a rate that, that allows them to be more profitable while still delivering each subsequent lot at a price that's attractive for the taxpayer. The Pentagon is looking to get the price of the F-35A as low as $80 million by 2020. But for pilots of the plane, a fighter that disproportionately stacks the battlefield odds in America's favor... I cannot put a price tag on bringing back men and women every single time in an F-35. That's what matters to the mothers and fathers of the service men and women that will fly this airplane in combat. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan in Fort Worth, Texas.